Hi, my name is Peter Taylor. I'm a professional water diviner. I'm looking to show you how to do map dowsing and then to go out on site, locate it on site and then through to the drilling process. So the map dowsing is the beginning and the reason why the client wants the map dowsing done, done is because it's 240 acres of land. So to save time, I will do a map dowse to find the water. He wants sour water, not sweet. The sour water is because it's a golf course and the quality of the water doesn't have to be drinkable. This is my pendulum. Pendulum's got water in. This is the golf course that I intend to douse on to look for high, quality, high quantity of water of sour water first okay so what I do is is I line it up with north this is the mark north here going that way I line it up with where I am at home and then I check to make sure I'm positive that's yes for me I also ask the question am I negative and that's no that means I'm fine to do the dowsing to find the water I then start from a distance over here looking for a high quantity of water of sour water and then I ask the pendulum is there any on this map I get the answer yes so then I ask please show me the largest volume of water of sour water the pendulum then starts swinging I follow the pendulum as it goes and I'm looking for an underground river now it's indicated underground river I now pick a pen, mark the area at that point, then I come from the opposite direction which is across here, which is the east, and travel towards the west. It starts to react again on the outer boundary of the underground river. Once I've got two markers done like this, I then mark off the center before I do all of the underground river, I need to know <coughs> the, quant uh, the depth and the quantity and the pH. So I start with the depth. I start at 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 75, 76. So at this point it's 76 feet down. So then what you do is you write it either on the map or in your book and you put down 76 feet. Now you also need to know how how much is saturation? So we're at 76 feet. So I need to know how much is saturation. So we start. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. So at this point, 82, is there any water? That's no. Right. 81 changes. Is the water at 81? So there's water at 81. Is the water at 82? A distinct change again to no. So now we know that there's water to a depth of 82 feet. Now we need to know the quantity of water. One gallon per minute or more. Two gallons per minute. Three gallons per minute. Four gallons per minute. Five gallons per minute. 6 gallons per minute, 7 gallons per minute, 8 gallons per minute, 9 gallons per minute, 10 gallons per minute, 9, 10, 9. So it's 9. So we mark down now 9 gallons per minute. Now we, know t we need to know now the pH of that water. We ask the question for a start, is it sweet water? That's a no. Okay, is it sour water? 
That's a yes. Okay. So we now know it's sour water. So we now know it's sour water. So now we'll do the pH, like I said. The pH now, we start at 6.1. The pendulum immediately goes round 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5. Six point six, six point seven. Now it's stopped. So it's six point seven, six point eight. The pH six point eight, six point seven. So the pH is six point seven. So we mark down six point seven. pH six point seven. What I'll say before we go any further on this, I'm sure it's for people to see the pendulum as it goes will think that I'm moving it. But when I first started dowsing 20 years ago or more, I could only get the pendulum to barely move. You see? But over time I developed it because over the 20 years I've map doused many times. Now, you can ask questions and get answers with the pendulum, um, besides doing the map dowsing. And to explain and show you what I mean, is I can hold it like that, and then think of what I'm thinking of, which at this stage is sour water, and ask the question, is this sour water? And I'm holding this wrist as tight as I can, and I'll ask the question, is this sour water on this map? Yes or no? And you'll see that even holding it tight, I get the answer yes. Okay, I just thought I'd better clarify that point for you. Right, now, we've, we've got now, most of this river now is underground here. I have also found an underground stream which has got sweet water in. Now, the idea is when you move this marker from one point to the other like that, it's like you would do outside in the field. And what you do is you get it to there and it suddenly it reacts. So you mark it out on with a pen. As you would do if you were out on site, as we will do. Now the sweet water the client at this stage doesn't want. And we've already got the depth of this one, which is 73 feet, extended to 89 feet, and it runs that way. And if you like to come round to it now, you can see what I'm saying. If you like to walk round here. This is sweet water running directly that way. This is the sour water which we're going to go for. As you see, it crosses this road, which is where we're going to go. Now, Matt Dowsing gives us a guide as to what area is best to go to to get to the closest point to where their electricity is because when they do a borehole that's what they'll need to know you'll see I've marked out crosses within the underground river this is where the depth counts have took place at those points so the target area for us is here or there where the the, the trees are because that's where they'll probably put the pumping system in so this is the map dowsing for now. We will now go on to the stage of a site visit and a site survey. Okay, just to explain a few things see before we start. We've done the map dowsing. We're now out on the golf course site. This is the tape measure we'll be using later. It's a 100 foot tape measure. This is the spray gun which we'll use for marking off the location site. This is a V-Rod, as I said to you early on, try and make it simple, I just use water on there, and it's just plastic. So I do a check on with this after I've used the V-Rods, or uh, the angle irons. These are the angle irons, again there's water on them, these are my main workers, I also use water to wet my hands. And these are the flag markers which I'll be putting out. When I first started, I used the um, 
hazel twig, which is the shape of a twig in the V. And you'd use it the same as I would use this V rod, like so, up like that. What's the V rod made of? The V rod is made of plastic, this one is. Two pieces of plastic. Two pieces of plastic, sellotape around, water on the top. The water is to impress on my mind what I'm looking for. If I was looking for something else, I would, I would use something else on the end. At this stage, we're looking for water. We're looking for sour water, not sweet water. Sweet water's on the other side. Sour water will be in this area, which we'll do a search for. That is my backup check. My main rods to work with are angle irons. These I've had for about 20 years, quite some time. They're just easily made, you can make them yourself. Just bend them over and I use water on the end again, same principle, all the way through. You can use a colour if you like, like I've got on there. Why would you use a colour? Well, some people reckon it helps to um, energise your conscious mind onto it. But could, I just find they work so... Could you just cut up two hangers to make them? You can, yeah. Great. Or you can have fancy steel rods, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is to have the seed in your mind what you're looking for. These are the tools which will guide you afterwards. Basically what happens is it's your muscles in your body and your brain which tells you, right, this is the location, the rods will cross, the V rod will come up or go down depending on the individuals. We're all individuals. This is the way that I work, someone else will work a different way totally. But for me, this proves 98% success rate. So for me, it suits me. These are flag markers which I use every time the rods will cross, I will put a marker down. That will be the outer boundary of the underground river system. This is the paint to spray mark the location which I'm then satisfied with. I will not use it until I'm satisfied the location's the right one. Tape measure, I use this, I use two methods.